And digging deeper into our top story this evening, challenges abound in the Herculean task of cleaning up the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant and thousands of hectares of land surrounding it as well. Estimates put time needed at decades and experts emphasize caution is paramount in getting each of the three compromised reactors fully decommissioned. More than one million metric tons of treated radioactive wastewater used to cool the damaged reactors are being released into the Pacific in a process that will take at least 30 years. The operation started about half a year ago and so far four batches each totaling 7,800 metric tons, have been released. Another two rounds will be conducted before the fiscal year ends in March next year. On top of that, about 14 million cubic metres of contaminated soil stored in Fukushima are waiting to be transferred out of the prefecture. The law mandates that it has to be removed by 2045. Uh, the government announced plans in 2016 to recycle part of the soil to be used as base materials in building infrastructure such as roads and tidal walls. Though there has been staunch opposition from locals who have expressed concerns over safety. But the biggest challenge facing cleanup crew on site is the removal of the more than 800 tons of contaminated debris and fuel. The operation has been delayed three times due to technical issues over equipment being developed for the cleanup process, as well as high levels of radiation. It has now been scheduled to take place in October. Japan has yet to work out where all that waste will have to go.